the question of uh, rhythm, I'm not very clear the, the, about what, what do you mean by rhythm? Oh, rhythm. And, uh, and rhythm. Well, you said the, the length of it's scenes. It's the length of scenes. And so the, 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 the pace of a story um, uh, is, is determined by the, the I'm sorry, I just saying the same thing, by, by the length of scenes. So, for example, um, if, um, if you had, um, imagine a story that's two hours long and every scene is ten minutes. There would be only twelve scenes. And the film would go ten minutes, twenty minutes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean the rhythm would be excruciating. Okay. On the other hand, suppose you're watching some, um, you know, modern special effects-driven action film, and all the scenes are are a minute. Boom, 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 boom. And so that's, you know, the length of scenes establishes the rhythm. <coughs> but um, uh, the tempo within them uh, establishes uh, the, um, the energy or whatever. And so the rhythm of a, of a, and, the, and the tempo is, is the length of scenes and the energy within them. So if you started out with a five-minute scene and every scene, um, and say you have to, 12 scenes in Act 1, and the, the, these dozen scenes progressively get shorter, that rhythm would go boom, 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 right? As the scenes are getting shorter. And so it would be just like taking a drumstick and beating it faster and faster and faster and faster so, as so the scenes get shorter and shorter. And it creates a, a kinesis. Okay. It creates a physical rush in the audience as you're moving in time and place or French scenes, or even literary scenes. But as <clears throat> these um, these events are passing through your mind uh, 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 faster and faster, uh, you have a sense of, a, of acceleration. And and then, as I said, when you get to act climax, <laughs> you put on the brake <gasps> and make them pause, and as, there's tremendous tension. Um, and, and so it's a matter of the length of scenes. It's also a matter of the tempo within them, because Scenes can get shorter and shorter, but they can also become more and more static. In which case, the tempo would work against the rhythm. That's, that's what I. I mean, was you thinking. you can play with these things, uh, you know, as we do. And if you've edited film, this is a big part of the game. Mm. As you sit there on an editing bench, and sometimes you fatten things, sometimes you deliberately slow things down, sometimes you speed it up, etc. But you're trying to create um, a shape, and it doesn't have to be a symmetry. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be a symmetry, but um, somehow uh, you have to uh, create rhythm and tempo, and exactly how that's done. Because you see, it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical because you could have an eight-minute scene where, within which there are four French scenes. It's one room, it's in continuous time and place, and f different characters enter and exit. And so um, the, f the French scenes would create uh, a pace as well. And so exactly how it's done, I, I don't know, it depends on the work, but, um, but when you get on the editing bench, you know when it's not working. <laughs> uh, and then you have to figure out how to shape it. So. The principle is an acceleration of rhythm and tempo, but exactly how that is accomplished, uh, from work to work, who can say?